Welcome back everyone, I'm Seth Roth, and today we're taking another look at the Alternate Start Skyrim mod. This, I when I did the initial overview of all the ways that you could start a new game in Skyrim through that mod, I forgot that most of these races actually have custom starts that are built into the lore of each race. So I want to do another video going through all of those. I think all of them except the Wood Elves have one. So that gives us nine other starts that we get to dive into. So first off, let's go ahead and check out the Ultima race. I'm not feeling particularly creative right now, so we'll just call him Alt. Hopefully he won't take that personally if he thinks he's an alternate. We're gonna skip some of my fancier custom creation stuff for an additional so showcase. And let's uh, have a look. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. Now, usually, if you want to do the racial unique quest, those are usually right at the bottom. And in this case, if you're starting as a Thalmor, you obviously can start as an agent of the Thalmor Embassy. May your duties bring you enlightenment. And just to add a little more spice to the video, I'm going to rank these based on level of difficulty, whether they give you an easy start, a medium start, or a super challenging start. Let's see. All right, let's take a look at ourselves here. All right. Wow, we look like the spinning image of Ancano. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, I need some candlelight for a good view. All right, so we've got our high elf going on, going on here. Uh, you're starting in the Thalmor Embassy, which gives you some decent starting stuff, particularly if you're doing some alchemy. Uh, most of this stuff isn't particularly expensive. So, oh, I guess there's a candlestick. You can sell that. One, you know, you usually want to get that gold ratio, right? One weight, one pound of weight for 25 gold, that's totally worth it. And if you're doing an I need type run where you have to eat and drink, uh, obviously you start off with some food and some wine, so that's a good start there as well. It doesn't drop you in some resource scarce environment. So you can grab some food, wine, oh, I think there's more potions up here. So this is actually a pretty plentiful uh, start to the game. You get gold, you get alchemical ingredients, potions. I don't think there's a lot of options in the way of armament, but uh, why don't we poke around and have a little look? Yep, there's some more potions, some more alchemy ingredients, plenty of food, so you definitely will not be in trouble there. Even a soul gem if you want to start with some conjuration. Not bad. Ooh, ultimate? <laughs> Even ultimate magic to start with. There's your, your parachute for oh holy crap, my wizard bit off more naked chew. All right, I think that's it for the top floor. Let's go downstairs and have a look. I don't think there's like a military encampment down here. Just more food, storage. So that's not, it's, a, it's a good start. It gives you all of the core resources, but without making you overpowered, right? It doesn't drop you in there with oodles of money or a full set of steel armor or anything like that. I feel like this start tends to lean more towards mage, cat, mage types or possibly thieves simply because when you're just wearing the robes, uh, you, you don't have a whole lot in the way of armor. Um, oh, looks like we've got some enchanted robes. What is this for? All right, destruction magic. There you go. So that's definitely for a destruction-based mage. So excellent for spellcaster playthroughs. And if you're using the Imperious mod like I am. Uh, elves not only are excellent at... Uh, actually, I'll show you. There's a little bit more to this place that we can get access to. Uh, and yeah, according to Imperius, elves are very good at enchanting. So that's another reason to go for spellcasters. As you can see, we're in the kitchen. And if you remember from the main plot quest line, this is where we sneak in with Mayburn to try and figure out what the Thalmor are up to. You can even bug Tisvani. How can I assist? Yes? I guess when you're a member of the Thalmor, she uh, is not as snarky as when you're a drunken guest stumbling around in her kitchen. Uh, I am a little embarrassed to say I got stuck here. <laughs> it took me like 10 minutes to figure out how to get out of the embassy to actually start your playthrough because I overlooked that there is a door right here. <laughs> I think it was added in for, the, for this particular start because it allows you, you to just step on out. And again, you get uh, more food, more things, possibly things you can sell. I don't think any yes. of these people actually give you a full 
conversation. So it's not giving you mm-hmm. full on dialogue or starting you off an official the mission for the Thalmor or anything. Although I do think you start off, is it with a note? No, that's a new beginning. I remember reading something. I think it might be the, oh, come on, where's the journal? There we go. There we are. Okay, so this gives you a nice little summary, right? You're a somewhat distrusted member of the Thalmor, and Elowen is sending you out to basically get out of her hair. Gives you a vague mission to investigate the Civil War in Skyrim, and then that's that. So she's probably hoping that Skyrim will eat you up and spit you out. But you don't have to actually do anything beyond that. You don't have to... Yeah, there's no other quest hooks or anything. You can just walk right on out of the building. And there we go. And we'll go ahead and grab Ariel. The Winter Sun mod showcase. We'll have to wait for another day. Got Thalmor guards. I think we can get through the door. I hope so. Let's see. There's the... Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. So you can actually access the barracks as well. So if you wanted to start off as a Thalmor agent but have some military stuff, I bet... The yeah. barracks would be able to accommodate you. Now, some basic clothes, maybe in the chests, golden potions. Okay, some iron armor. It's not, not bad. I mean, that's helpful if you're going to be a heavy fighter. We'll check upstairs and then call that good. I would think there would be. It's kind of fun when they come up with these creative starts because you know when they were first designing. Skyrim itself, they weren't thinking, but what if a character wants to start here, you know? Oh, there you go. Okay, so you got a helmet, shield, iron war axe. All right. So there is some stuff here to start you off with a couple of different yes. types of uh, more heavy armor and melee. I didn't see any light armor sets. I guess you could try and steal some from the uh, Thalmor agents upstairs, but I don't know how far you would get with that. So as far as easy starts go, this is a pretty good one. It gives you a lot of resources, both for questing and selling. Thankfully, the gate is not locked. And you could just step right out into Skyrim. Uh, the Steed Stone is right over here, I think. So that would make just immediately your character would have faster travel ability from the get-go. And then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump down to Solitude. I feel like the, the level of ease at which a start has is directly proportionate to how close it puts you to a major city. Because if it drops you off in like the middle of Podunkville and you're, you know, lots of questing away from civilization, you're gonna have a much harder time surviving at level one, particularly with the mods that I have running right now. So on that note, we're going to hop back over to the main menu and then we're gonna check out what the next alternate start is. So there's a Thalmor one right there. You can pop right down into Solitude and check that out. Next, we're going to check out the Argonians. And true to form, we're just going to call this one Arg. Let's skip some of my customization stuff because this is just a demo. And then Approach let's see, let's child, see. And choose where your new life shall begin. How do you guys think lizards will go? A dock worker in Wilhelm. All right, let's try this out. See a better life, child of the hiss. It's nice that we're using Imperius actually, because that gives Argonians twice as much swim speed, which makes it much more appropriate that an Argonian would then be working on a dock. Right? If he falls off the water into the water, I mean, he can breathe underwater and he just be free. You know, he can swim around super fast. So that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Looks like you're starting gear. You got some potions, necklace. I don't think. Okay, I've noticed with some starts, they give you full access to the surrounding items. Like in the Thalmor start, you can grab and take anything there. Looks like the same thing here. So this is like a shared living space for all the dock workers. Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly just huh. keep out of the way. I never noticed a like pure Argonian section of Skyrim. The modders really did, did their homework when they were figuring out where to start each of these races. I don't know if that was brought in by them. I don't think it was brought in by the mod. I think it just... Bethesda must have done a pretty good job of mapping out which groups ended up where and why. The Nords don't appreciate us. <laughs> so what? This is cool. It's like I got friendly little dinosaurs that are back. Another day, on my another side. Second. Cool. So, once again, as far as ease of start goes, <laughs> you're right next to a major city. No trouble there. Resource-wise... 
I might put this at a medium start just because you start off, I mean, it says it's worth 120 gold, but we don't know with starting Speechcraft, it's not going to be that high. So your resources are a lot lower here, but you are right next to a major city. So it gives you a good spot for questing. Oh, what? Who? Kill what now? Oh, wolves. Okay, well, I'm glad they're not after me. And then I believe this guy... If you're looking for passage to so style. You won't find a finer vessel than the huh, northern There you go. All right, so if you want to hop over to uh, Solstein at level one, you can do that as well. So that kind of gives this an extra, an extra option, I guess. I don't. I've never tried Solstein at level one. I have no idea. I've always, if I've ever been there, it's like end game after I've beaten Dawn Guard and my character is uber high level. But once again, this is a pretty no fun. This is a pretty interesting start. Plus. You uh, being an Argonian, at least with Imperius. Woohoo! Look at that insane swim speed. That is just awesome. And of course, you know, I mean, aside from the occasional slaughterfish, there's not a lot around here that's going to hurt you anyway. So there's a, a hat tip to Argonians, because suddenly all the waterways give you twice as much travel speed. So they become like roads. <laughs> I love how that... It changes their perspective, right? Because suddenly all these waterways... I mean, you can't really go far upstream once you get to a waterfall. But outside of that, it gives you pretty good options for, you know, slipping around without too much trouble. Uh, but anyway, so that's a pretty interesting start. You can be a dock worker. I don't think you can actually work as a dock worker to make money. But there are a couple of professions around town, like chopping wood or mining ore for which you can actually sell those resources and make some gold on the side. And with that said, let's hop back over to the main menu. I have to keep stopping myself because usually I go straight to the desktop whenever I quit. All right, who is contestant number three? All right, now for whatever reason, the Bossmer did not get a unique racial start. So we're just going to hop straight over to the Bretons. And of course, his name is going to be Brett. Skip the custom start and have a look. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. I am a Forsworn native. Okay, the interesting. At your coming, Forsworn. That is cool, because you remember I recently did a presentation on the Realm of Lorcan, which allowed you to pick which groups, which factions you wanted to be affiliated with. I didn't realize that uh, Alternate Lives actually had a version of that, and this would be it, where if you start as a Breton, you start off as a Forsworn. There is no, there's no field of vision. <laughs> I, would, I would be very frustrated wearing that helmet and trying to see what the heck was going on. But this is kind of cool. Usually when I get into a Forsworn place, it's, you know, kill or be killed, right? Oh, that's empty. That's embarrassing. Ah, stop it. Okay. All right, so you got your nice little safe place to rest. You got a nice camp here. I think there's actually some crafting items. Yeah, you've got a forge. We've got our yes. friendly neighborhood Briarheart. Hole in his chest. Good morning. Jeez, I you never really get a chance to take a good look at that when you're fighting for your life and just, you know, hurling spells and trying not to die. But yeah, that's some good graphics right there. All right, so you got some basic food. Basic resources, not a whole lot that's expensive, but these are like Forsworn natives. Uh, hmm? I don't think any of them could accompany you as a companion, but I suppose you could lure bad guys in here after you, and then the Forsworn would back you up. Yes. I assume that this these Forsworn being friendly would apply to all the Forsworn in the game, because you're part of their faction. Yes. That is some creepy little face paint they have going on, not to mention the levitating jumping. But anyway, moving on. So it looks like you've got some stuff you can scavenge. I saw a chest there if you can pick it. You even get some basic food. So if you're doing like an I need start, you can actually use a... Huh! I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I've never paused to see if I could actually make flour. <laughs> That's cool. Uh... But anyway, so aside from that, like, there seems like there's... Oh, all right, so we got some weapons. There you go. You got your bow, your axe. There's some good military stuff here if you wanted to start a melee character. Not a whole lot for magic, but let's at least see where in the map we are. Because despite being a modder and playing obsessive amounts of Skyrim, I do not have all of the dungeon locations memorized. All right, we are at the Drawdock. 
read about. Read about? Read about. I don't know. Come on. I don't know. Come on. Yeah. Wrong button. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So this is a much harder start. Despite being friends with the Forsworn, I feel like you're still just level one and your options before you can fast travel to anywhere of note. Uh, yeah. You're going to be doing a lot of not trying not to get killed by things, especially at level one with the kind of mods that I run. So this is definitely a harder start because the, you don't have as much awesome gear and you don't have as much money and you can't get to a major city. On the other hand, you are friends with the Forsworn. So I guess that makes this, I guess this counts then, but you can't really, there's not a lot of shopkeepers around here, but it is safer than, I don't know. I mean, at least it gives you a place to sleep, right? So for I need and stuff, you have a safe place to rest your head without getting ambushed or killed or what have you. So that's not a bad start. That's a little more challenging than starting off with the Thalmor, for example, where you can get everything you need and you're planted right next to Solitude. All right, that said, let's, uh, we don't need to load, but let's go ahead and head over to the main menu. Let's see, so that was the Bretons. I believe that is actually uh, lore friendly. I think their ancestors were the Forsworn, so they actually like start off there. Uh, all right, so that was the Breton. All right, so let's check out the Dunmare. Dark Elves, you are named Dunn, despite the fact we are not actually done. Moving on. All right, so what do you guys think the the alternate start will be for Approach Dark Elves? And Let's have a look. Where your new life shall begin. I am a refugee from Morrowind, starting in Raven Rock, or I am a refugee from Morrowind in Windhelm. Since we already did a Windhelm start, let's have a look at Raven Rock. May you find a new and better life on Solstein, my child. Uh, Solstein, what? Whoa, I for I. Jeez, I forgot. It sounded familiar, but I forgot it was in Solstein. Ho oh, ho ho. Okay, so we start... Oh, wait, that's stealing? 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 Oh, you are definitely a refugee. Someone, like, gave you a spot to sleep? Okay, all right, here we go. So we've got a few... We re refuged with a few interesting things. Uh, I think the enchanted items are actually part of my Summer Mist enchantment, so you will not always start with a sneak attack bonus on daggers or a ring that boosts your alchemy, although I really like that thematically. That's pretty cool. Uh, you got your food and drink, so that's excellent if you're running an I Need type uh, playthrough. Let's see. So again, everything here counts as not yours. So this is definitely one of the harder starts. You have the contents of that one case, a book, and that's it, unless you want to risk getting arrested. And at level one, you are not a high enough level to negotiate strenuously with anybody. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I'm trying to skip some of these. We're going to skip the winter stun stuff and just have a little quick look around. So this starts you off level one on Solstheim. Wow. I'm still wrapping my head around this because it's like playing the game backwards. <laughs> do you do the, the Dawn Guard quest line next and then the fight Mirak first? I don't know. That's an interesting question. Part of me is just curious if all of, I know they do leveled lists, like at level one things are still weaker than when they're level 30, so technically you should be able to get out and fight things and hunt and scavenge at level one just fine. Oh, this is one of Mirak's little mind control things. Forgot about that. Wow, that's not bad. Okay, so resource-wise, not very good, but it does park you right next to Raven Rock, so that gives you plenty of resources. And you can actually start exploring Solstheim at level one. Wow, I don't even know how that... I'm tempted to do a playthrough of that, just like the first five or ten levels, just to see if I can survive <laughs> from level one. Uh, particularly with my mods, because I... Yeah, I get bored of the vanilla difficulties. Anyway, so that's a fun one. So if you go Dark Elf and alternate start, you can actually start your game in Solstheim and play the game backwards. That would be a weird playthrough title. Play Skyrim backwards. Uh, let's see, and on to the next one. Okay, so who's next? We did the Dark Elves. Imperials. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the Imperials are kind of everywhere in Skyrim, and yeah, I'm kind of a Stormcloak, so yeah, you get to be named Imp. Alright, so what kind of a custom start do you think we'll get for Imperials? Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Oh, jeez. 
Penitus Oculatus? Isn't that May like the bring you the secret service for the emperor? Like emperor, emperor? Really? You'd like you're like 007 on his emperor's secret service. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. So story-wise, from an RP standpoint, you could easily join the Civil War quest line as a secret agent of the Emperor that's trying to strengthen the Empire's hold rather than being some random dude on the street yes. that decides, yeah, I'll back the Imperials. That is cool. I know it's not going to have a bunch of like side quests or anything. I guess you could just lean towards quests that support the Empire. Being that you would, you know, be part of the Pentecostalatus. I think there's actually a quest line for destroying the Dark Brotherhood, which would line up perfectly with the Pentecost Oculatus, if you're familiar with that quest line. I'm really liking the armor, too. I think part of this might be from my God's armor mo Guard's Armor mod, though, rather than vanilla. Either way, starts you off with light armor. Okay, so this is particularly ideal for thief starts or spell swords or someone that's still going to be moving around and not plan to get into heavy fighting. Unless you want to start with heavy armor and then just buy it up as quick as you can. But that is... That is cool. I like... It's very creative on the modder's part to find just a few things that you can tweak. And it sets such a different tone for the whole game, right? You're a member of the Pendicus Oculatus. As opposed to just Joe Schmo that got pulled off the road. And they tried to take your head off for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Very nice. I like that. And like I said, difficulty-wise, this starts you off right next to town. You can easily get up the road to Solitude without getting mugged or eaten by wolves or what have you. As far as starting resources is concerned, 300 gold is not bad to start with. Okay, so this is this is a fairly easy start. Not a lot of craziness. I like it. I'm just I'm I'm curious. How would you play the game differently if you were literally a member of the Emperor's? Secret Service. I'm curious. That would be fun. Just from a story perspective to try and play out. Uh, that leaves us with... Ah, Khajiit! <laughs> Does anyone want to venture a guess on where would they start? It's fairly obvious, but they're, they are hard... They're, they're, their familial group Approach is harder to find in Skyrim at will. They kind of pop up. Begin. You can be a Khajiit caravan guard. Like always on warm sands. That's cool. Let's try it out. Khajiit will find warm sands. Or Khajiit will find warm fire. Or Khajiit will make warm fire. Or Khajiit will make you warm fire. And I spoke poorly. <laughs> ah, cool. Ah, I need to get that religion stuff out of the way. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. They can actually train you in... Okay, so if you're doing, doing a thief start, this could be fun. She can train you in sneak. Can you train me? No. You cannot. Okay. So you've got training in sneak. You've got yourself a vendor. Now that's pretty wide variety. I mean, you don't have... Oh, jeez, you do have... Oh, no, you do not. You have 87 gold. Whew, I got those two numbers confused. Uh, you do not have a lot of gold, but... You are a friend of the Khajiit caravans, which I think is cool. And it starts you right out of Markarth. There you go. So this is still a pretty easy start. You don't get as many resources, like not as much gold or loot. But, I mean, you're a hop, skip, and a jump. You got the farm right there for food if you're in an I need type of a playthrough. And you got Markarth right here. You can jump right into the Forsworn quest line if you want to. Not bad. That's a, that's a fun way to start as well. Particularly when you're, well, starting as a Khajiit. Uh, I wonder if you can keep track of... I, I don't know in what detail the Bethesda did it, if it's like the same tribe that you always find everywhere, but it'd be cool to be able to run by and be like, Hey, Rissad, that's my bro! That's cool. So, you're, so basically, plot-wise, you're deciding to leave your caravan and go off in search of fame and fortune. And I guess you would just pass them by once in a while and be like, Hey, bro. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, fish. <laughs> fish and cats. 
Uh, that's clever. All right. Well, that's it's a pretty simple start, but I like it. I think it is quite fitting for a Khajiit. All right, I think we're almost done here. Let's check out the last few. What do we have next? Ah, the Nords. <laughs> I feel like, you know, we'll just call him Nord. I have a hard time making it any shorter than that. Where do you guys think a Nord will start off? Windhelm, maybe? Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. I am Eric the Slayer's childhood friend. What the... What? Your modest existence is something to admire. Okay, so apparently being the Slayer's friend is a modest existence, so I don't know what kind of a start we're walking into. Come on in. Hey, watch it. We got warm food, I'll teach warm you to drink to me that way. And we drop right into the brawl bug. I, so. I need to get a fix for that. I know there's a mod somewhere around that'll fix that. I only take real coin. No handouts and no bartering. Okay, what am I? You are not. For a second, I thought I was in Winterhold, but that is not the case. Okay, so we start off in, in an inn. Uh, everything here counts as stealing, so resources are low, but at least you're safe. Oh, hi. It just feels right somehow, having this new life as an adventurer. <laughs> you start off with a follower. That is cool. I love the wording of this, because it's it's like you're the follower, right? Because this is Eric the Slayer. I am just... Nord. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That fits, like, the whole Nordic, I don't know, adventuring, slaying dragons, going out and getting into scuffles. I don't know. It fits. Where are we? Rorikstead. Ah, oh, all right. We're from the Heartland. The heartland of Skyrim. We're leaving our hometown and going forth to seek our fortunes with Eric the Red. Eric the Slayer, I should say. Eric the Slayer, who I never actually used in-game before. So, cool. New experiences. Uh, Rorik's Stead is not a bad start. You've got everything you need for the I need uh, conditions. You got food, you got water. It does place you pretty far away from anything and anyone. So that is a more difficult start. I'd probably put it at medium, uh, bordering on easy because you already have a follower who's fully tanked out, right? I mean, worst case scenario, you can hide behind Eric, and as long as he doesn't pick a fight with a, you know, a mammoth or a giant, you should be okay at level one, one would think. Yeah. I used to be an adventurer like <laughs> Then I took an arrow in the knee. If I had my Fusrodar right now, you would be flying, sir. I've heard that pun one too many times. But I am really liking that guard's, guard's armor replacer mod, and you can almost see my face in it. <laughs> the you can see the reflections on that. That is some, that is some good modding work. All right, that is cool. All right, so this is your home of Rorikstead that you are fighting to protect. There's actually a dragon place, uh, dragon burial ground, just up that hill. So when that pops during the main quest line, that adds a whole new level of urgency to that particular threat. Alrighty, I think we've got two left, if I'm not mistaken. I believe we're looking at the orcs next. Orcs are... should be If you're familiar with the orcs in Skyrim, it should be pretty f easy to guess what you, where you, where they start, or which faction they start with, I guess. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. We can start in an orcish like him, stronghold. May your axe always strike true. That is cool. All right, so this is. Most likely for your heavy armor, two-handed wheeling, smithing monster. I will say, if you are running Winter Sun, you're probably going to want to go with Malakath. Because he's big on the whole orcish. Oh! Oh, wait. Ah! Getting distracted here. Okay. So you want to go with Malakath because it uh, gives you... It rewards you for big fights. Uh, this is... Okay, so you can buy and trade. Oh, she's an alchemist. Okay, oh, well, that's different. Okay, alright, so as a big fighter, you can still get potions. If you're a thief, you can get poisons. Not a lot for mage starts, but you are an orc, so... Not bad, not bad. I think there's even... Usually they're parked on top of a mine, right? 
So you should, oh, you can smelter. Okay, so you can do all of your smithing and crafting up here without any problem. Ah, yep, that's what I thought. The Dungshi mine, okay, so cool. So this is your smithing start right here. You can get all the ore you need. I'm sure you can find some strips of leather for cheap. Or at least enough to do some, you know, some crafting. Get yourself your gear. I like it. Here's your alchemist. And then I think that's about it. Unless, unless maybe this guy does something special. I used to wander the corners of Skyrim like you. I miss those days. He's traveling? I do. There's a freedom the roads give you that the stronghold does Do you not. want to be but my follower? And I wouldn't want to dishonor my clan by leaving again like some young pup. Why don't you travel with me? I couldn't. It would dishonor the place the chief has made for me. Hmm. Some <laughs> coin to soothe your guilt? Well, for that much, I don't think Malakath would turn his scowl on me. <laughs> All right, Outlander. So apparently his integrity is worth 64 gold, which you do start with. Until and now you are a pair of... Holy crap! I am... A fearsome looking beast. What kind of armor is this? Oh, okay. Wow, they go all out on the orc. All out on the orc. That is awesome. Okay, this is the most expensive start we've seen thus far. Because this is literally 2,000, 2,500. Pushing 3,000 gold worth of resources that you are just starting off with. And you get a follower. And you can do all the smithing that you want before you even go outside. How close are we to... Okay, we're still a fair distance away from civilization. Like, you'd have to tangle with some Forsworn to get to Markarth. So, it's not exactly a cakewalk, but it still is a bit of a walk. Not really a run. Well, wait, do I not have a decent weapon or did I just not arm it? There we go, Orcish War Axe. Whoa, okay. So that... Orc lovers, you gotta love that. You get a full set of Orc armor and that looks awesome. I would not. I I would be worried if I rounded a corner and this thing was charging at me. Very nice. I think. Oh, okay, I, I mean, you got your vendor. You've got your follower. You speak to Borgug. And your chief. Well, there we go. Cool. That's all here. That is awesome. All right. So if you want to start off as a member of the Orc Bloodkin, you can do that too. That is that is cool. I like that. Particularly starting with full heavy armor. Whoo. I, the mods that I run kind of make that necessary. <laughs> Particularly if you haven't gotten, a, gotten the hang of Wildcat yet. Redguard is a bit of an enigma to me. I'm not sure where they would start. They're more nomadic, right? Approach and I don't think they have a town in Skyrim, for example. Begin. So I'm not, quite, I'm not quite sure what they were, what their costs are start with. Begin. I'm a member of the Alikir. I don't know enough about Skyrim lore to know what that is. I've seen some of their weaponry lying around. I assume there's some kind of nomadic tribe, maybe? But let's see what kind of opportunities await a red guard, starting with the Alkir. You have a campfire. You have a place to sleep. Uh, let's just cut through the religions real quick. And... Okay. That's not a lot to go off of. You've got... Oh, there's a... Okay, so you start off next to a mine. That can get you some raw materials for crafting and stuff. Oh, wait, it's this mine. Huh. I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. The mine isn't we safe. We into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Draugr. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. I'll handle you're those Draugr for friends. you. But if you want to get yourself killed, go ahead. Huh. Oh, okay, there you go. All right, so you start off with the full getup. Oh, do I get one of those cool scimitars? Yes, I do. That is cool. I'm Sinbad. <laughs> I grew up watching Arabian Nights. Good times. Ah, oh, that is fun. Okay, so level one, you can try and clear out a Draugr mine. And then I believe this part is actually... Yes, you are far away from anything and anyone. Okay, this might be the hardest start that we've seen thus far because you have very limited resources. I mean, you got 285 gold, but there's no one to really buy it from. I mean, who are you gonna sell the, the ring and the gold necklace to anyway? I mean, there's, there's no vendors around. So you're kind of, I kind of like this. This is, this is how, this is the kind of starts that I like, where they just kind of drop you in the middle of nowhere and you just try to survive. What is it, Red Dawn? 
That is some cool dwarven armor, though. All right. So, yeah, there we go. So that is all of the unique racial starts. I feel like there was the Red Guard didn't have a whole lot of lore to it. They just kind of plopped you down next to a, a decent fighting location, gave you a good starting quest against Draugr. Trying to find a decent view to end this video on, if I can find my way up a rock face. I'm going to try this one, see if we get any mixed results. Oh, 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 come on, come on. For the viewers, for the viewers. Okay, oh, that. All right, that's, let's see if we can, oh, that would be perfect. And, eh, yeah, good enough. That's cool. All right, thank you everyone for joining me on this further exploration of the alternate start mod. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know down below what is your favorite alternate start, your favorite way to start a new campaign in Skyrim. Take care. Bye.